Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can extract GPS signal from this U-Blocks new 7M and 6M different type of GPS that are sold on eBay using Arduino. You can get the code for these by clicking at the link in the description, which is below the video, uh, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Here I have, this is new 6M, these two are new 6M and new 7M, and this is new 7M with a larger connectivity. They all have the same, so this was initially sh purchased from eBay, all of them have been purchased from eBay, but this one came with this. So this is usually sold with an antenna. These are, they can, you can connect to SMA connector, other external antenna that you want. This however has built-in antenna so the antenna comes with the module but in case if you if this is in a place that does not receive a signal you can connect extension extended cable and connect your antenna these tiny modules have connector for this antenna so this can be connected also here and but this one also has sma connector so you can connect your uh, antenna this one however doesn't have connector for this type of antenna but this is the one that comes with an antenna and here as you can see this is the this is a new 6M this is new 7M all of them are U-blocks so this is new 6 and that is new 7M they all have the same pin connectivity so you can see VCC ground TX RX and PSS VCC ground TX RS and PSS so the pins are the same for these three however this one doesn't have that uh, PSS we are not using that pin anyways but this one doesn't have it and this one has however the ground is on this side and VCC is here so RX and TX are also in different position but the label is important for us with the header not attached so you have to solder it yourself and these modules for internal clock and some settings for example bitrate and other values when you connect it uh, so that they retain values using this battery so all of them will have built-in battery so this is the battery on this one and this one with comparing to these three this was the best because one thing that this one has is when this finds the GPS signal, this light turns blue. Uh, so this makes it easy without even uh, looking at the computer, you know that they already received signal. But in this one, uh, the light will blink, uh, which is sometimes false, but it, this has just a power LED here. This one, this is a power LED and use your Arduino to get the data you will just press it and it will work and also here at uh, uh, this connector if you put any of these wires it will simply work fine i've tested it and i'm going to show you that if you connect it and leave it like this you will be able to receive a uh, signal and test it on your arduino new 6m and new 7m no difference uh, in the in the module but uh, they have a little different specification them are 17 millimeter and the length with the antenna without this header the length without the header is 32.2 millimeter and the depth is 7.6 millimeter for the test purpose in arduino i tried it with this simple wire just inserted here I was able to receive the signal even inside the room just close to the window but uh, for outside the room I'm sure it will get pretty good signal for doing anything for any GPS module just connect one wire to the VCC one wire to the ground and one wire to the TX connect the VCC to 3.3 volts and ground the yellow one is connected to the ground and then from the TX connect this to the pin 2 here pin 2 of your Arduino from here just click new 
you will have a blank sketch the device is powered up only with the TX and uh, upload this to the device upload it to our to Arduino so upload completed open the serial monitor select 9600 baud and you should see this so the data that is uh, sent out by the GPS module there is no satellite signal just raw data invalid these are empty data uh, we are using the code that when the signal comes we will be able so let me stop it so these are different signals some of them have altitude longitude some of them has also time uh, elevation number of satellites and so many other information so we will extract latitude and longitude when the data comes this was just an example so make sure that your device sends this data before we proceed with anything else Uh, let me explain the code. You will need to get the tiny GPS plus plus. I will provide you the link. You have to download it and include it in your uh, library. I will provide you the link uh, directly from robojacks.com or maybe you get it from GitHub. So this this will be taken care of. This is part of Arduino, so you don't have to worry. Once you include the library, you will go to File, Example, and then you will see Tiny GPS Plus Plus. And then go from here, go to Device, Example. Once you open it, this will be the file. The only changes that I have made is that I've changed this to, it was 4, I made it 3 and 3 and 4, so I've just switched these two. This 9600 baud is the default. A bit rate for the GPS module, all U blocks GPS module, the defaults are 9600 baud. So, very important. Uh, after def defining these, we are creating an object for this uh, class. And then, we are for the serial monitor also, we create a, a object and we are passing these two values here. After this, Inside the setup, we initialize the serial monitor with 115,200 baud, and then this is a serial event which passes the baud rate for the GPS. So this will connect connect via this uh, initiative that we have here. So we are reading from serial monitor and printing it from serial monitor at pin. Uh, using pin 3 and 4 and printing it on a serial monitor of Arduino so these are just texts inside the loop we are checking the value from this uh, uh, GPS if available is bigger than 0 which means if we have some value and also we check if we pass the read value and we check the encoding if we get the value then we say display the info Otherwise, if it's more than 5,000 milliseconds and there is some character, a character also less than 10, then we print this and detect wiring and this. And while true mean, this will hang. It will never go from this point. So now let's see what does the display info do. The display info is a function here. First, it prints the location this is this text the location and then if the gps is a valid one so there is a validation function inside the library which checks it if it's valid then it prints the gps location with six decimal place that is the latitude so the first one here and then we have a longitude after a comma so we print this comma here i i stop it so this comma and then we print the longitude if this is not valid then we print, print invalid and also in the same time we print also the date and time here which are not of our concern the mean uh, hour minute and those things so 
This video is concerned with latitude and longitude because you can do it uh, and use it for your application. Let me now explain the wiring. PS uh, antenna can be inserted very easily and removed through this connector. Place it and push it with a snap. And also, I'm going to show you that you can insert a jumper wire, one of the DuPont wire that you have. Just insert it here. With this length, uh, you will get signal as long as you are close to the window or you're outside so the, sig the satellite signal can reach. Now this is already connected. From left to right, we have VCC, we have ground, and then TX, D, TX data, RX, D, RX data, and then PSS, which we are not using. On the device, on Arduino, we are defining two pins, TX for transmit and RX for receive. So when this is TX, this is sending data. When this is labeled as RX, this is receiving data. Now for any device, a GPS or any other communication device that you use, if they have TX and RX, like USB has TX and RX, this is a serial uh, communication, we have the same way we are using it. So TX and RX, so the TX of your device must be connected to RX because this is transmitting and the receive R is, RX is receiving. And when, uh, on your device, RX must be connected to TX. So when Arduino sends, your device receives and when your device TXs or transmits, Arduino, Arduino receives. Now on, on our uh, device, when we say RX pen 3, it means on Arduino we are defining pin 3 as RX and we are defining pin 4 as TX. And here on your Arduino, as you can see, TX is green and it has been connected to pin 3. This is TX and pin 3 as you can see is RX. It has been connected to RX. And then the last pin here, it is RX, orange. It has been connected to pin four. And as you can see, pin four is TX. Now the antenna is connected. USB is powered up. GPS module is connected, now it's close to the window and as you can see we're getting invalid, that's very normal because we have not received any GPS signal. Once, uh, once you see this data, it means the connection is okay, you, you did the proper wiring, we're just waiting to receive a GPS signal and it will be valid. If you have connected them incorrectly, you will get uh, no GPS detected, check wiring. And now I'm going to just switch these two wires, the two last wire, the green and... Now I've connected those and then restart the device, you will see that invalid. When you see this invalid, it means the wiring is correct. Once it receives the signal, it will start blinking. Every time it sends the data, it will blink. As you can see now, we are receiving signal. And here is the GPS module. And you can see the blue light is blinking there. That's the blue light that blinks and it's syncing and receiving the signal. We just received signal here. And as you can see, the light is blinking. This is now new 7M GPS that is receiving signal. an M receiving GPS signal using this wire.
Thank you for watching. This was how to use and extract GPS signal from these different GPS modules using Arduino. If you like this video, please thumb up and also if you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below the description. I'll try to answer and reply. And if you subscribe, you get updates of my upcoming videos.